What's up guys, it's Gunscorch here, and today for you guys I have part 2 of the folder setup. Uh, so, the only other thing that we need to do in Vehicles Meta is change this audio name hash. Uh, so we finish that, and then I'm going to use the audio name hash for the bison. So now, whatever sounds the bison has, that's what the econoline now has. Um, Car Coles, search, Mamba, uh, that one, scroll all the way back up, that one, delete, and then visible mods, we do not need any of this, so we go down until we see visible mods again, now we can either leave it like this, or you can make it like that is, and do space forward slash uh, I don't know, whatever one that one is y y yeah, you can do that um, suspension, one, two, three, so we're going to copy the first two and since this is a truck well, a, a van kind of truck sort of thingy we're going to put minus on these so that it can actually be lifted so, the first three, it'll be uh, low suspension, medium suspension, high suspension. Or no, it'll be lower, lower than that, lowest suspension, and then it'll be lift kit of value 5, lift kit of value 10. Um, and I think we can do the... Alright, so there might be one, two, three, four. Ah, okay. So we can do the same thing with the engine. I think the most that they're going to be is five. Uh, so let's only put 200. Brakes, yada, yada, yada. Scroll down to the end of the horns. There, and this one doesn't have any light uh, text in here, so otherwise the light stuff would be at the bottom. So this is the kind of the econo line mod kit, and what I like to do is go hash generator. X econo line generate and then just copy all of the numbers. Sometimes it'll be like so say that was the C, I'd take the two eight five nine one seven. Uh this just helps to make it as unique as possible so it actually works. because uh, if two vehicles have the same kit ID value, then it then the kit doesn't work for either of them. Mamba in here. And then model name, econo line. That's where that number will go again. Econo line mod kit. Now this just says that it has a hundred percent possibility of there being a standard white plate. Um, if you do do custom light settings, that's where you'd put that number too. Uh, I like to use that number for the light settings as well. Uh, but if we put that in there, then we didn't specify light settings to that specific code, so it's not going to spawn anything in for the lights. The lights aren't going to work then. Um, so we do that. Change to account line, account line. These are just the uh, the colors. Possible color variations is that the vehicle spawns as. Um, but we're gonna have a set color on the vehicle, so we're not gonna mess with that. Um, so we're good with that. Good with that. That that perfect. Uh, Content.xml setup2.xml. 
this would actually be best if you downloaded a mod and used theirs. Because if you look at this, that's a lot of stuff to have to go through and change. That's not as much, but that is much, much, much easier. Uh, so, for example, we only need handling that meta in here. Um, and actually, we don't need the audio one. Or that audio one. Or that audio one. Alright, so, and then, econ line. We're gonna end up copying that because we're gonna need to replace a lot of things. Um, so it'll be DLC underscore econ line, vehicles meta, car coals meta, car creations meta, DLC text dot meta, handling dot meta, and the percent platform is actually just the X64. That's all that is. Uh, then vehicles RPF. And then this one we actually have to type out caps like Econoline. Paste Econoline all over here. And actually, one more thing that I noticed is we have to go forward slash common. before all of these. Come on. No, come on. Come on. No, I did it again. Really weird. I've never seen it overwrite the text like that. Hmm. It's very odd. Ooh, that one doesn't have it either. Um, so we're going to copy that, put a forward slash, and then just paste it. Alright, so that's all done. Now that we figured out how to do that, now actually in here we have to do Alright, so copy whatever that is. Right, so copy the forward slash two. Then put comment and then paste it. Don't ask me why it's doing it this way. But it is. So. Copy slash common paste. And we didn't do this one down here, right? No. Okay, good. Because the, the percent platform percent uh, vehicles.rpf is the only one that we don't do it for. Uh, and then this one is really easy. This one is just... No, I want it. Econ line. Econ line. This one is... Caps lock. Econ line. And then this is just when we built it, so 08, 17, 2019, at 10, 47, I don't worry about the seconds, um, that, I don't know, it's just a timestamp, it's cool to see when people made stuff. Um, that is it for this one, uh, that's it for the folders, and part two of the folders. Um, so I will see you in the next one where we actually get to import our vehicle into Z Modeler and start working on it. Peace.